fam it's your girl leah back again with another video in today's video as you can see from the title we're just trying two of my recent amazon v part wig purchases well we're not trying them because one of them i've been wearing for a few weeks now and i know how i feel about it one of them is new but i have been taking a little break from crochet hair it's been maybe three weeks since i've had a crochet hair in even though you might have just recently saw my toyo tress video i've just been inundated on tiktok by just v part wig content because i'm probably a half wig or v part wig girl i just don't know if i'm a full wig type of gal I've tried it in the past I just need to like a little bit of my hair out the fact that I have a little bit of my hair out gives me a thought that maybe some people could be fooled that my hair is real although it's not I've been loving my half wigs and you've seen that content but I wanted to try something different and like I said TikTok has been showing me video after video so both the wigs that you will see today are both influences from TikTok both are Amazon one is from you nice this is from you nice and this is what it looks like if I can get in camera you guys can see I'll talk about the coloring and all of that because this is of course not how it came and then the one I've been wearing a lot a lot a lot recently um it probably will look more worn is this wig right here the brand was not like a you nice or like you know her given hair or something that's known it was a brand that was a little bit more obscure but I was like let me give it a try and I have been wearing this for the last three weeks and then I decided I got the you nice one too because I like the curls just a bit better we're gonna do a comparison in today's video both wigs are linked down below I've purchased both wigs with my own coin but to get into the construction of the wig I've been wearing for the last three weeks this has been it this u part wig it's the brand is icy i believe it is a v part traditional wig that is 26 inches and this wig cost me about 169 i don't know if i had a coupon at the time i probably did have a coupon i think both of these wigs had a coupon at the time but online 26 inches this probably looks a little bit shorter than 26 because i've cut it a bit the construction of it looks like this this is the front it has four combs right here two combs on each side and then one comb in the back with adjustable straps now this wig is not in its natural color as i said the color of this wig was a darker color just kind of like the model it's a standard what most wigs come as color however i dyed it to match my own color so i used the box color that i used to dye my own hair you guys know my own hair is a colored hair i use that same box it's clairol i'm um, 4rc i'll put a picture of the box if i can right here i use that but i put a developer on top of it a level 30 developer it took about two processes to get it just right but i think we finally got there and this is again the color this is again the look i'm not gonna belabor the point any longer my own hair of course i have the v part so my front is laid out i'm just gonna plop it on my head and show you guys how it looks so again this is wig i'll call it wig number one it's the wig i've actually been wearing religiously for the last two three weeks and i actually adore it now this is what the curls look like this is what my hair is looking like this is what my parting space. I didn't leave too much out. I freshly dyed my hair right before I started wearing these wigs. So two, three weeks ago, as soon as I took out the Toyo Tress Ocean Wave hair, if you saw that video, right after that takedown, I uh, dyed my hair because I knew I was going into wig season and I wanted a, a good match. So this is kind of, not kind of, this is what the match looks like. I like the curls on this. 
I think they blend well when my hair is manipulated. I don't think it's wash and go my curls, but I do think it is like twist out, braid out, which if you saw my hair was twisted down before this. The 26 inches, if you guys kind of had seen it at the beginning, I do think it's much shorter than 26 inches now. I think it was closer to right here though. It wasn't like super, I think you're thinking 26 inches straight and you're thinking down here. It was still only about roughly here when I first, first got it. But overall, I really adore it. This is like my go-to wig. But let me put on the You Nice wig because that wig is considerably more expensive. But I saw a lot of good things about that wig. This took me a couple more coloring. This took me about four. And it's still not maybe 100% where I want it. I mean, it is matching this really well. But it took four with my box color and my 40 developer. And letting it sit for a while. And it still took a lot. It does have four combs as well in the front. So it has four combs. It has the two combs on the side, has the one comb in the back, and it does have this adjustable strap, which is a bit different. So you can kind of make it tighter or looser, I guess, depending on your head size. This one fits my head very comfortably. I'd say I have a medium head size, though, not very large. I think if your head size was smaller than mine, I think it might be some issues. If you think your head size is a bit bigger, I think this one would fit you very comfortably. But smaller, I think it would be loose right around here. Right around here. But bigger, I think you're fine. So let's move on to the You Nice wig. Now this wig was 22 inches. And this wig is about 200 something dollars. 222 So almost $50 cheaper than, or more expensive than the other wig. You're probably like, well, why did you get it? Oh, it does also have a little adjustable strap. I didn't even notice that. You're like, you really like that wig and that wig was cheaper. Why you get another one? I like the curls on this one online. It looked like I thought it would be a little bit more closer to, I think those look more 3B. I think these look more 3C when I looked at it. Now when I have it, it doesn't look as, like they look very similar. I think this still looks a little bit like this looks a little bit more coily and this looks a little less coily i don't know that uh, i just like the coils on this a bit differently or a bit better so i'm gonna apply it the same way i did the last wig This is the You Nice wig. Again, 22 inches on this one. It actually looks a bit longer than the other one. Like, doesn't it a bit? Only 22 inches. I wonder what the 26 inches of this one would have been. I haven't cut this one um, like the other one. So today's literally my first day trying this wig on. And when it got to me, like I said, I went through one round of dyeing, didn't work. Second round, you know, took a little bit better, but I wanted it a bit more matchy matchy to my own hair. So I think that delayed the process a bit because I had to let it dry, then redo it, then let it dry, then redo it. Um, so this is literally my first really impressions of this wig after wearing this one for a few weeks and i do like the coils on this one like if you can see this wig versus the other wig and maybe i can do like a side by side of the coils the look of it i like this one in the way it mirrors my own hair let me lean up really close too so you guys can see i like this one i like this one and it's always you like the one that costs more money than than the one you you had quality i do think the feel they both feel very lightweight the density on both i think is really strong as well i don't think they're low density um if it was a straight wig i think density gets feels a lot better when it's a coily wig that's why i feel like i go for more curly wigs than i do more straight wigs because the thinness you always like can you see through can you see the back can you see through the back i just think this is a bit more 3c and that one's a bit more 3b but i think even for the price tag if you're looking for something more you know a, a bit cheaper again like i mentioned the 14 inch which is a lot shorter starts at like 60 something bucks 
with a coupon and then of course progressively like with everything the inches you go up the more costly it'll get so it's probably 69 79 89 dollars for more inches and the same thing goes for this one the cheaper is cheaper if you go 14 16 18 i have again 22 inches and I don't know I like it but I want to do a check-in too later wearing this one to see like a, a few months check-in I'll probably wear my hair out probably for again the next two weeks before I transition back into crochet hair but you guys let me know how are you feeling it are you a v-part wig person I think v-parts are gonna make a comeback I think v-parts and half wigs are really about to be the thing but open discussion as always going on down below in the comment section. Do you see a difference between both of these wigs? Is there a wig out of these two that you prefer more? Is it a V-part wig summer or is it a crochet hair summer? It probably is a crochet hair summer. Let's be honest. We're going to get back into the crochet hair game a little bit later in the month. And you'll see that if you're subscribed to my channel. And make sure you have that notification bell on so you're alerted when I post videos. Make sure you're following me on Instagram at LeelaWine89 so you can keep up with my shenanigans a bit more in real time. TikTok at LeelaVon, which is even more real time than any of my other platforms. And I'll see you in my next video. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.